Hey there, it's Sunday morning, and uh, I've been working on my new toolbox. I know, you're saying, didn't you just finish a toolbox, John? And yes, it's the big one that uh, I finished, and then I set up right there temporarily, and then started loading stuff from the tool board into it and organizing it real nice. And I got four drawers done. <laughs> and then I got a little bit bored with that. <laughs> and so it's not quite, you know, fully loaded and organized yet. But <laughs> I'll get there one of these days. Uh, the, my intention for the next project was to build that dust collector thing that I was talking about. And I said, nah, I don't, I don't, you know, I wasn't too excited about that. And since the toolbox did so well, I mean, it's up over, I think, 350,000 views. Uh, and the, the plans were popular, too. Uh, I said, why don't you go ahead and build the, the, the one, you know, you, okay, this is based on the mechanics type toolbox, right? The, the base unit. And then there's usually one that sits on top. That's for the smaller stuff, right? So... This has long been a part of my, my plans to do, was to build one of these and then build the one that goes on top. So <clears throat> I said, why don't you push up that one and get that one built? So uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a lot more uh, involved than that one. It uses the same slides, except smaller. And I'll dig them out. And to bring everything that's on this pile right here, inside my house to give it two coats of water-based polyurethane to make the parts slippery like the slides in that so here are the slides in this one right considerably smaller and they fit in these tracks which are nice and s slick now because the water-based polyurethane is making them so so yeah i'm ready i'm uh, uh, what i'm doing this morning is i'm getting ready to put it all together so I'm hoping to get the assembly done today, all right? But I thought I would make a quick video here talking about <clears throat> two, uh, two things that you hear in woodworking, especially in North American woodworking, because we have terms here that differ from other ones throughout the world. I think it's because <clears throat> we have more specific terms for some of these things. Like this uh, trough here in my piece where the, where the slide goes, we call this a dado. In particular, we call that a dado if another piece goes into it, like for joinery, all right? And on the back here, this square cut out here on the bottom, we call this a rabbit. And that's not the rabbit that hops around, okay? It's a R-A-B-B-E-T, okay? And that's typically made for a panel to fit into. I would pull a panel out, but I, okay, let's, let's take this, okay? That's what a rabbit is for. Now, these are, <clears throat> like, in the UK and in other parts of the world, they call this a rebate, Okay, and then I've had people, I've made a whole video on this before, but uh, the actual proper term for it is rabbit, because it, it defines what it is specifically. A rebate, on the other hand, can mean a couple of different things, whereas a rabbit is a square cut um, on the edge of a piece of wood, and it's straight, it's not curved or anything. That's where you would use the word like groove or slot or recess. Do you understand? You have other words to describe those type of things, but this is specifically, because it's straight and it's on the edge of a piece of wood like this, this is called a rabbit in woodworking here in North America. And this is called a dado. It can also be called a groove, or you could maybe call it a slot. But, uh, and you can also call this a recess because that's, you know, the material's pushed in, you could say. It's been cut out, but, you know. So that's the difference, okay? <clears throat> a dado has, like, it's a U-shape, but it's straight, square on the edges. 
A rabbit is L-shaped, straight, square on the edges, and that's what they are for. Okay, so that's your little woodworking lesson for this Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, and I've got a lot of them in this toolbox, I can tell you. Here, <clears throat> let, me, let me put those parts aside. Look at this. They got dado, why dado, why dado, dado, why dado, why dado, rabbit. All of it. They're all here. You know, they're having a party together. It's going to be fun. It took me a full day almost to cut all of these, uh, all of this joint, all these joints and stuff in these parts. And I only made one mistake. And I'm not going to talk about it <laughs> because it's, it was, it was completely on me. All right. I tried to blame it on my plans, which I have mostly done. And I was going a hundred percent from, because this is the first project that I've ever done, like I've done that. Usually I, I make, you know, so much of the plans then I come out and I build the project and I work through some of the details while I'm going and then I'll revise the plan at the end. This one, I did the plan almost completely 100%, you know, leaving out some small details to finish it off. Like, you know, this screw and that, and that type of thing there. But then I came out and I worked right from the plan. All the dimensions are from the plan. So everything works out great, except for the human error, right? And you want to look around, that's human nature. You want to look around at something to blame it on. Can't be me. I didn't make the mistake. Has to be the plan. No, it was me. I made the mistake. It wasn't a major one though. 